Oh, right, all right, all right, all right. We have another build for you today, and I'm looking forward to casting this one for you because we have a Hamza Kramza build. Hamza Kramza is a very, very unique AoE2 build designer. I don't know if he still does videos, but he used to, and he used to do them a lot. He came out with a video called the 20 Minutes, 20 Nights video which was designed for the pocket to make a whole bunch of nights we're not going to be showing you Hamza Kramza's 20 minutes for 20 nights video over here okay we don't we don't know that that's too meta for us but what we are going to show you is a much less popular video that Hamza Kramza also came out with in which he does a build called 20 mother clucking elephants in 20 minutes which blew my mind koala wallow in my chat was like oh you're doing the god of the godless thing that's awesome you've been doing that for like five days poop lord come on like when i get a build in my head and man do i love the god of the godless strat double siege workshop but we're not talking about double siege workshop we're talking about double stable elephant production koala pushed me to do this build and uh, he showed me the video and all of that good stuff and i said i think i can do this give me approximately three tries to figure out the build order and make my own notes on it i have a whole little notepad and whatnot in which i make notes on how to do particular builds i know i really haven't been talking about this build very much that's because there's not a whole bunch going on right in the beginning it's quite standard we're doing six on food four on wood the next ones are all going to go food 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 and we're also going to be producing a mill key here though is that you have four deer it just makes everything go a lot smoother otherwise you are going to have some issues when it comes down to constructing 20 nights in 20 minutes it's a relatively tight build and really well designed if i do say so is this a good strategy no if you get feudal pressured you're going to have a lot of problems if your opponent goes for pure monks uh, which in the previous two games that i played this strategy i was on arena because it works on arena as well it's just a lot harder to get the elephants through the wall 20 battle elephants or 20 what, what, what are they called just 20 i think they call battle elephants i have no idea things are things are things are things are things are things are things getting through the wall is a lot harder and if you have monks behind you should be relatively good clearing it up we are now going into the next stage where we're actually putting villagers to berries. It should be about six or seven onto berries, bringing you all the way to 19 total pop. I don't really like doing total pop. Uh, I like doing total villagers. So my notes are written for total villagers. Uh, and the reason for that is, is because your scout might get lost. Uh, a thing to consider for this particular build is that your scout is going to basically be dark age forever as you're clicking up at 30 flipping villagers so you definitely don't want to be scouting with it too early on because when your opponent does go to feudal age it's going to have more attack on you and your scout is going to die oh and more speed so that's like double bad sip of the coffee And as we've hit that 19 pop mark, we're going to move a total of 5 onto wood, giving us a total of 9 on wood. I'm just going to walk through this build as best as I can. I know I'm saying a lot of other things. Um, houses, you need a total of 30 worth of houses in order to have a smooth click up to feudal because we're going to go for 30 pop and up. I constructed one too many houses. It doesn't have to be perfect no build is really perfect no strategy survives contact with the enemy but what is important with strategies is that you keep your ultimate goal in mind follow the build order as long as you possibly can and then adapt not super feasible strategy in a 1v1 uh, we made this 
or we're doing this strategy and you'll see what goes wrong what works well at about 1300 1400 elo i think it's like really high 13s low 1400 elo and then once we have those nine onto wood we're going to go six onto gold and that should give us the ability to click up i think this strategy could work great just do it. yeah just do it come on says unimpressed uh i i cast all of these on twitch which is a good reminder that uh, if you want to see new strategies coming out earlier come check out the twitch uh don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that good stuff only fans i have it uh, where most of my revenue actually comes from <laughs> i think if it works great i'm having a really relaxed morning just enjoying this build for what it is 20 it goes it goes absolutely insane in just a couple of minutes so stick with me as i sip on my coffee would work great in a pocket position to absolutely ruin a flank with all the elephants and then hopefully just storm roll on to the next one i see this working really well in a 3v3 situation or even a 4v4 situation it is super all in because once we get to feudal we are not going to construct any more villagers and the castle age time is not as crazy late as you may think because Malay have that 66% faster uptime. And as we go to the next age, all we have to do is create a blacksmith and a stable. And you want to hide these military buildings to the best of your ability. You don't want the scout seeing that aggression is going to be coming his way. We want to make it seem like we're going to go fast castle. That's why I'm placing the... Yeah, exactly. No, no, that's a little bit too close. I'm placing the blacksmith near the edge over here so that he can scout that. So he's probably thinking, oh, he's going market blacksmith. And then he's probably going to 7 TC boom. I don't boom. Unless I'm doing like full Flemish militia rush. But that's a different story. That's a different kind of strategy. No more additional villagers trying to rush this up. We're a little bit slow to rush that up. If I placed that in the correct spot, it would have been a lot better. All berry villagers are going to go to straggler trees around the TC. We're going to construct as many farms as we possibly can. I did realize that he had a archery range over here, I believe, at this point. Ooh, clownin! Are we clowning? Man, I love that. Yeah, okay, now we realize that there is an archery range over here. So I figured that some aggression might be coming my way. Normally, I would take advantage of this mill and build some farms around over here as well. But archers bodes relatively well. As long as he doesn't go all in feudal archers, uh, trying to snipe off a villager or just to be annoying over here to the best of my ability. And as soon as we do go to Castle Age, we're gonna be producing elephants, 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 elephants. Uh, trying to get this scout as far away from my base as possible. This is also a very important part of the strategy, which Hamza Kramza mentions in his video as well. If we can have our opponent not scout what is going on in our base, that is really, really good. So just to show you what Red can see right now. Red can't see anything. He has no idea that there are two stables and a barracks already construction, constructed, constructed, and that we are going to be attacking with mass elephants. Also, the elephants are not sustainable. We do not get any eco upgrades. All our Bellary Villagers, farms. All of our Woodvilles, once we have it, farms, 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 farms. Six on gold, constructing houses, hopefully better than I can, so that you don't get popped. And hopefully, you will be able to get out 20 elephants in 20 minutes. Once you do get those elephants, it is very, very important that you get those blacksmith upgrades for them. Malay also have cheaper elephants, so I, yeah, I mean, it's... It, this strategy, Malay, is a must. He's doing some prying. He's trying to like figure out what I'm going for with these archers. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here going, please don't attack for another three minutes in game. Please don't attack for another three minutes in game. 
Please don't attack for no three minutes in game. I want to get my 20 elephants in 20 minutes if I possibly can. And once again, keeping that scout away is so big. Uh, I wonder where the scout is going to go to. Oh, is he going to go straight for this gate over here? It's far away, though. That's my point. That's my point. And we have already constructed 10 elephants and counting. Oh, man. I can't, I can't wait to show you how this one progresses because it's an absolute dumpster fire. And I love every single second of it. I know I haven't discussed every minute detail of what I do here, but I don't want to. I want to give you a general idea. I want you to be able to put your own twist on this strategy, just like I put my own twist on Hamza Crumbs's strategy. I'm like, should I go forward? No, no, a little bit longer. There is no way, if you don't see 20 elephants coming towards your base, that you're going to be able to easily counter it. He's only now Castle Age. We've been Castle Age for a while. He had to invest into archers. He had to invest into buildings on the front. Actually, nice wall off over here from him. Uh, I didn't actually realize that that was fully walled off just quite yet. Hmm. And we are just, we're just sitting back. We're just waiting. I want to put a market wall behind here, but I couldn't quite figure out how to put a market wall behind here. So, uh, F coming in for a market wall. I'm like, Oh God, no. Oh God. Oh God. No. 18 elephants. Time to go forward. You know what? It's not quite 20, but it's good enough. I probably could have produced two more here at a certain point. We're going to delete this palisade wall just so that we can go forward faster. And he still hasn't quite realized what is going on. He's doing some harassing with two archers. Doesn't realize that there is a whole smickety smash of elephants trying to path into... <laughs> Pathing into a relic, so you know what? Who cares? Just attack something else. I guess this is more like 18 elephants in 20 minutes, but I could have produced two more. Going for a blacksmith, I think the blacksmith is relatively useful to the knife. Trying to get rid of all of these archers and get my villagers back to working. Do decide to construct that market eventually. That way we can decide to sell that 200 stone and get a little bit boost in that manner going for elephant archers trying to figure out how he's going to defend against this going for an immediate monastery double monastery actually if i'm being precise but if we can just be quick enough if we can just smack with these 21 elephants fast enough I'm not even going to chase that who cares if he fires upon me indefinitely we are going to smiggity smack smash red right now unless he has monk. Oh God, he has monks already. It's only one conversion. It's all. It's it's only five percent of my total army that has just been converted. Let's go. Get in here. Trying to stonewall this off desperately. Let the herds go free. Trying to wall over here as well. That's not going to happen. We are already in an elephants. Man, do they take out TCs? quickly monks all over the place trying to get conversions this actually stonewall was very very well played from him because that allowed this monk to get a additional conversion that he normally would not have gotten going for another monastery he knows how desperate this situation is there are just so many flipping elephants inside of his base we have some stuff to deal with at home with uh, elephant archers and i guess his own elephants that are being produced at home and uh, crazy hectic tcs are getting taken down by huge quantities of elephants it is so fast actually to take down tcs with elephants uh, Humpty Crumbs explains that in his video as well that knights take like 30 seconds and 20 elephants take like 10 seconds so that's a really unfortunate conversion for us just hectic just hectic he's trying to wall us out from his base he knows that this is an all-in i know that it's an all-in he's doing some raiding with battle elephants over here i'm desperately trying to keep my eco going probably should have definitely rewalled this section over here crocodiles eating skirmishers it is utter flipping chaos over here can he still produce more monks the answer is yes 
but is it too late? I'm hoping so. Go, elephant. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. Get all of that killed. More conversions coming in. Can he hold? Man, was this was this a fun game to be playing, to be honest with you. Kill those monks. Very nice. And I just figured if I surround these monasteries and take them down, then we'll be in a really, really good spot because he probably does not have very much eco behind this trying to break down through this monastery as well also i do not click on attack the building i click on patrol that way uh, i focus down any monks that are going to be coming out this is a very nice spot gets another conversion on me is this stoppable i think if you spot this early enough it is stoppable i think if you use a whole bunch of feudal aggression this strategy is also quite stoppable but man is it fun when you get it to work the gg is called a total of 32 fully upgraded castle age battle elephants were created almost at 20 in 20 minutes and that's good enough for me i hope you learned something from this build order i hope you have fun with this particular build order. And uh, don't forget, 54 to 6. To never let your memes just be dreams. And with that, Poop Lord out.